What's going on, everybody? I am Mr. Fred, and welcome to Soul Calibur 6. Okay, so I know this is completely different than anything I normally do on my channel, but there's a reason for that. I have grown up with these Soul Calibur games. I played them so much when I was younger. I love this series so much, and I am so glad that they have this game, and they've done the game right. From everything that I've read, I haven't played it yet, but everything that I've read, they've done this game right. And I'm really excited to jump into this, and I'm going to do the both of the story arc things for this. Uh, I think I'm going to start with the Libra of Soul. I know the story throughout the entire series, and I really want to jump into this new one that they've got. So we're going to do that. We're going to go and jump into this new mission mode, and I am so excited for this. This is going to be so much fun. The ray of light from the evil seed pierced the sky, its glow reaching as far as India. And here, we find another person whose fate was entwined with the two swords. Consumed by the evil seed, yet still with presence of mind. A link between chaos and this world. You are quite the interesting one. Still, you will eventually succumb to the chaos unless you engrave a clear image of yourself onto your soul. Was that... that picture? I'm pretty sure that was Zosilamel. The guy from the third one. That was his name, right? Like, the main bad guy from the third one? That was probably one of my favorites, was Soul Calibur 3. Okay. Create a character by sele selecting race, body type, weapons, and more. Okay! Well, I'm gonna do... Oh, that's fine. It's fine. Holy crap. I could be a skeleton. Okay, let's see. We've got Outcast, Lost Soul, Lizard Man, Autom Automata. Wait, you mean Cyborgs? Oh, that's cool. Shapeshifter. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I could be a statue? That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Malfested. Malfested. Revenant, which are the skeletons. Oh, man. I don't know what to choose. Hidden village clan. You know what? I think I'm just going to... I'm going to start... I'm just going to do this as a human. Aviana? No, 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 no. No, let's, uh, let's... Let's go with, um... Slappy. Slappy! We're going with Slappy. Okay. Confirm. If you can keep a hold of who you are, you will be able to stave off the chaos. Now, arise. Take up your weapon and fight. Your life depends on it. All right! Slappy! Level one! <laughs> okay. Explore the surrounding area or convergence. Uh, all right, what's Convergence? What's this? Let's just select that one. Spooky. Uh, oh, oh, I get to read this. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Um, just... Ah! Next. Uh, next. 
When I woke up, my head was pounding. Maybe it was the nightmare I'd had, but I could barely catch my breath or stop shaking. Yes, this is her voice. You're finally awake. It seems you had quite the nightmare. A man in a hood stood at my side. His appearance suggested someone quiet, but strong-willed. It is Zoslamel! I knew it! Ah, ah. Awesome. My, my name is Zoslamel, and I know what's happened to you. Oh, do you? You were greatly affected by the evil seed. You escaped becoming a Malfested, but I'm afraid you may not escape death. Uh, ask about the evil seed, ask about your nightmare and the headache, ask about the malfested. Well, let's let's just start about the evil seed. Yeah, yeah, evil seed. It is a great evil that bursts forth from Western Europe as a torrent of light and rain down around the world. Okay, okay. Uh, ask about the malfested. I'm kind of curious about that. They were beings whose bodies and minds have been twisted by evil. Symptoms vary, but some are known to become monsters. Right. Many malfested lose all sense of reason, become violent, and attack people. Luckily for you, fate puts you on a different path. All right. All right, ask about your nightmare. Your body does not appear to have been altered by the evil seed. However, it seems to have affected your soul, linking it to... to... Linking it to... to... What is called the astral chaos. To... to... The astral chaos is a curious realm where great powers collide. In time, it will consume your soul. So, don't worry about that. You know, you're just about to die. No big deal. Don't know why you woke up in the first place, because you're dead anyways, you know, resulting in your death. You're just going to die. Your nightmare and headache are a sign of what is to come. You know, your inevitable death. <laughs> it's comforting. That is comforting. <clears throat> if you wish to continue living, come with me. Or, you know, die. It's up to you. I will teach you how to extend your life before you die. Because that's inevitable. God, it's great. Great. Okay. The area next to Journey's Dawn is the Dojo of Drona, a martial arts master. Here you can play the battle tutorial for Soul Calibur. Visit Drona's Dojo to train before you start your adventure. Okay. You can move from your current location to any location you have previously visited previously visited by pressing change location to open a list of available locations okay yeah that's that's cool that's cool all right i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't think uh wow yeah i don't need to go there i really don't need to go there i'm just gonna go to the ass fish fissure astral fissure the astral fissure if was oslo mel oh if was oslo mel had told me it was true and there was a way to extend my life i had to try it I pursued him through a forest, but what lay ahead was a fate I could never have conceived. Okay, defeat your opponent. Awesome. Do I do I have I've only got that. Cool. Cool. Oh, select food. I don't have any food. Cool. <clears throat> well, let's start the match. Let's do this first fight here. The air was stifling, and each step toward, or forward, toward, forward required an immense amount of effort. Zoslamel, however, seemed to proceed unfazed. Eventually, my eyes were greeted by something beyond my own imagination. Huh. Uh. That is an astral fissure, a rip in space and time. It is caused by the great power that flows through the earth and the evil dispersed by the evil seed. To continue living, you will need to obtain the power of the ass fissure. Naturally, it is easier said than done. Ass fissures exude a massive amount of force that will either destroy anyone weak who dares approach it or turn them into a malfested. Okay. However, when someone with great power approaches, the flash of light will bring with it a visitor. Gwoaj. Gwoog. Don't just sit there surprised. It looks like you've got a fight on your hands. <laughs> Gwar. That is... That is the name of a metal band. <laughs> Spelled different, but you know. First fight. Okay. I'm ready. 
I'm ready for a fight. Be done. All right, let's do this. Let's see if I remember how to play. Okay, defeat my. All right, well, that's 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 gonna be easy enough. That should be easy. Hey, 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 hey! You don't get to hurt me, sir. Hey, hey, hey! Watch it. There you go. Okay. So it's a little bit different than I was used to. <laughs> and so I'm used to. Uh, I mean, I mean, I know, I know how to play with this weapon, so that's a good thing. Okay. That was cool. I don't know what the hell that was, but that was different. I'm gonna do it again, apparently. Oh, right. <laughs> that's awesome. I win. Look at me go. All right. Well, that was easy enough. The attacker bursts into particles of light that soon faded. Those freakish warriors, berserkers, appear when the strong approach an astral fissure, perhaps in response to their power. So you're saying I'm a strong person? You're darn right I am. Berserkers come from the memories of warriors who sought strength. To defeat them, you simply must be stronger. There is no other way. However, you can attain phenomenal power from the fissure, which will enable you to continue living and provide resistance to astral chaos's attempts to devour your soul. If you can withstand the Astral Chaos, you will no longer have to fear for your life. Alright, now claim your power from the Astral Fissure. You got it. Encouraged by Zoslamel, I thrust my arms into the ass fissure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not mature, I'm sorry. <laughs> A surge of light burst forth, flowing through my arms and into my body. My heart pounded as my body began burning feverishly. <laughs> as long as the scattered evil and the Earth's power remain, astral fissures will continue to appear. I hear that there is another astral fissure on the outskirts of a village to the southeast. That is all I can tell you. Before you go, take this. Zazalamel re revealed a set of scales on top of which fluttered one blue flame and one red flame. These are spirit scales, otherwise known as the Libra of Soul. They did the thing. That's the name of the mission that I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, take them. Your body is overflowing with energy from the astral chaos. It is the power of chaos and of order. The state of your soul will determine which power you draw from. These scales will reveal to you which way your soul is leaning. It should help you to maintain control. Now you must embark on a journey to save your life. So long. All right, so short. <laughs> yeah! Surges in your body. Okay. That's awesome! I leveled up again! I've got more health! I've leveled up again! I'm leveling up so quickly! Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so, you know what? That is going to do it for this first episode of Soul Calibur 6. I hope you guys enjoy this. I know it's something a little bit different than what I normally do, but I am way too excited about this game to not play it, so I really hope you enjoy this. If you did, be sure to like the video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're new, Share this with your friends, family, anybody that might enjoy it. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.